Hello and welcome to my video. This will be a movie review of this movie, Dread 3D. As you can see, this is the Blu-ray version. I've watched it in 3D. And yeah, I will tell you my opinion about this movie. So, Dread 3D is a movie from 2012, uh, directed by Pete Travis and stars Carl Urban, Olivia Tilby and Lena Hede. Um, it had a pretty small budget, only $50,000, um, and it was a box office bomb. Uh, not that many people saw this movie, and that's why it's really cheap to buy in Blu-ray today. <laughs> but um, yeah, critics and fans alike uh, really liked this movie, um, and thought it was much better than the movie uh, from Sylvester Stallone. Not that that was a hard thing to do. But yeah, let me tell you my opinion about Threat 3D. So yeah, in my opinion this is a great movie. And let me elaborate on that opinion, um, starting with the story. So, everything on Earth is wiped out. It's one big desert. And there is one city, uh, with the old ruins of our world and mega structures. Uh, one of these mega structures named Peach Trees is the block of Mama, the main villain of these, this movie. And Judge Dredd goes there with a rookie named Anderson because three murders happened there. Uh, but Mama, afraid uh, that the judges will find out about slow mo, a drug she is making and spreading. Um, want to uh, kill the judges and she says uh, via the intercom that she wants them dead and so all the gangster members uh, in that block start a hunt on uh, the judges because they are all afraid of mama yeah, and that's the whole story they just have to find mama uh, on the top uh, st story uh, 200 stories up and that's it and I like this plot it's very simple and it does its job so yeah I really like the story of this movie let's go to the visuals visuals in this movie are also great it looks really brutal it shot really well no shaky cam, no high frame rate, so yeah, that was a thing that I was really happy with. And uh, the special effects are great too. And when you take the low budget into account, it really amazes me how they uh, could make this such a good looking movie. Um, the slow-mo effect looks really cool as well, and it isn't overused. Um, that's another thing I was really happy with. Uh, a couple of complaints, um, the blood uh, is added with the computer and it doesn't always look that real but I get why they did it because uh, for the 3D it really adds something and by the way the 3D in this movie is really good it's shot in 3D and it really adds something to this movie in particular and uh, the other complaint I have with this movie is uh, without spoiling something later on in the movie some other judges uh, come to the scene and um, it is really hard to follow who is who because they all look the same only the batch is different um, but yeah besides that nothing to complain about really slick looking movie and now the sound Sometimes this movie has great music, uh, it's all electronic and it really gets the action flowing but otherwise um, there's nothing special. Uh, some tracks of the soundtrack are just sound effects and hardly uh, to be called music. But uh, yeah, it's not that it's a bad soundtrack and uh, the sound effects uh, are good. So that's what's most important. So now my final verdict. This movie is a great movie. It's a fun popcorn adventure 
just don't think about anything and watch. It's of course not a masterpiece, but yeah, we would have expected it. But it was a lot better than I imagined the film would be. Certainly if you uh, look at the first trailer and the TV spots, uh, they were just awful. I give this movie an 8 out of 10. So that's my opinion about Red 3D. Just a fun action movie that really resembles uh, the movies from the 80s and the 90s. Uh, the bloody action movies, not like they make them today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a rating or a comment. Uh, or a tip for this channel uh, so I can improve this channel a lot and I uh, hope to see you all next time see you next week goodbye